everybody, what is up? Welcome back to the EWA channel. It's your boy Axel once again, and today we're going to take a look at another one versus one in patch 1.09 version 2. We're going to have very, very good players and a very interesting match. Uh, we are going to have Axelian, the myth, the legend, the Argentinian player versus Garnicus, the Can Canadian player. Uh, more Dur versus um, Dwarfs, absolutely a great, great matchup, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one, um, really, really like this uh, little matchup right here, and uh, yeah, every Xillion's replay is a good one. Uh, and right before we get into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. We are on the chase to 1,000 subscribers and we are we are getting really, really close. I think right now, at the moment, as I, um, as I record this video, we are 250 subscribers away. Uh, we're standing on 750, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, yeah, we are going to make it very, very soon. So be part of the family and drop that sub. Uh, without further ado, let's jump straight into this little replay right here. Uh, we're going to have Ecthelion, of course, in the bottom side of the Forts of Eisen map. Uh, starting with three tunnels going into the Hall of Warriors. We're going to have, of course, uh, Ganicus, as I already mentioned, in the left side of the map. Uh, I'm guessing Ecthelion is going to go for a forward mine very, very soon with actually both of his builders, and in both of his builders uh, very, very uh, forward. Uh, Ganicus is starting with three slaughterhouses going into two orc pits. And yes, indeed, beautiful stuff. We're going to have a lot of orcs on the field very, very soon. Uh, power points, we already saw that Ganicus has started with the Eye of Sauron. And um, I believe Exelion is going to go, of course, with the Rallying Coal. Of course, give, uh, gives 50% damage. Yeah, 50% damage and 25% uh, experience, uh, gaining experience 25% faster. Uh, the first attack of Aquilian is uh, going to uh, start right here. Uh, Ganicus is trying to place his uh, orcs uh, and defend his um, orc pit, of course. Uh, Guardians are really, really tough. Uh, it's going to be very hard as Mordur to um, defend against those Guardians, but looks like... Uh, Ganicus is doing a really, really nice job. Meanwhile, he's pushing as well uh, with two battalions of orcs. Look at that amount of uh, guys in his uh, base right now. Uh, the force that he has um, managed to um, save the orc pit as well. Uh, so beautiful stuff so far from uh, Ganicus. Uh, another creep is going to go for... Uh, Axelion right here. Axelion is going to creep the uh, work pit and try to get himself some resources uh, and uh, a nice little bonus. Uh, let's see. Yes, he will be able to do it. I don't think those war uh, orcs yeah, will be fast enough uh, to go there. Uh, looks like uh, indeed Ganicus is going to go from uh, uh, for Axelion space. Uh, from mul multiple directions. Very nice save indeed right there from Axelion as well. But look at the minimap right now. Uh, all you can see in the minimap at the moment is only that light green color of the model player Ganicus. Uh, Axelion need to think on how he can clap back from uh, this little pressure that uh, Ganicus is putting on him right now. Ganicus is an absolute phenomenal player, uh, but Exilion knows how to play the game as well. So we will see if he can uh, climb back from this little pressure uh, that uh, Ganicus is putting on him. Mil uh, so far, he managed to defend his uh, tunnels pretty well, and it's really tough with dwarves as well. Uh, don't forget about it. <coughs> Defending with dwarves can be very hard unless you know how to uh, manage your tunnel network uh, pretty good. Uh, we're going to have another creep, and I don't know if it, this one will go for Xelian actually. Uh, but probably though this pack battalion can actually take those orcs. Uh, we're going to have the first hero on the field from Ganicus, and it's going to be the Nazgul. Uh, beautiful stuff. Some reinforcements are coming in, and I think that... 
Uh, Ganicus really wants that creep money. Uh, this Orc Battalion managed to take that weakened farm right here. And uh, we do have another Orc Battalion right there trying to take down another tunnel. Uh, the Nazgul is going to be very good against the Swordsmen of uh, Exilion. And uh, let's look at the power points and command points real quick. Let's see who has the advantage on uh, this side. Uh, Gannicus is uh, sitting right now on 550 command points with uh, the uh, 5 power points after picking the um, Eye of Sauron. Uh, so he does have himself 5 power points to spare. Uh, I do want to mention that the Nazgul managed to reach his uh, level 2 ability, the Dread Visage. And it's going to be very good against uh, the debuff. It's going to be very good against uh, Akthelion. Akthelion, meanwhile, is sitting on 500 command points, 6 power points to spare after picking uh, the Rallying Coal. Uh, so the advantage right now, it's actually pretty, pretty close uh, number-wise. But you can see on the minimap for yourself, look at that beautiful force, uh, beautiful Mordur force. Uh, it's going to be very hard to deal with. Uh, potentially some battle wagons will be needed to... Um, Take care of all of those guys. Let's see what Akthelion is up to. Not too much. Uh, actually looks like uh, he actually managed to take down this script for himself. But I don't really know if that was the case. Uh, we do have the combination of Easterlings and some Orcs around this area of the map. And uh, Gannicus is continuing with his spam and trying to take down as much... Uh, as many tunnels has, as he can. Uh, upgrading his uh, orc pits as well uh, to level 2. They become way more tankier. Uh, th uh, 3,150 um, health points on uh, this side. Oh, that can be a devastating attack right here. Let's see if uh, Gannicus actually uh, going to use his buff right there. That's a nice clump indeed. But Gloin is really coming time. Will it be... A massive slam ability ah, I don't know didn't manage to save this uh, tunnel right here let's see about the Hall of Warriors looks like definitely uh, Akthelion is in a bit of a pickle right now to uh, 2k in the bank for uh, Gannicus as well and uh, Akthelion uh, does have himself a lot of power points right now but let's see how he's going to manage to uh, defend this attack right here. Gloin didn't use his uh, slam ability yet, uh, but he can definitely do it pretty soon. Oh, we're going to have the Hobbit summon right here, and that can be dangerous. Uh, we don't have, unfortunately, the Rallying Call uh, quite yet. That's going to be a nice clamp indeed as well. Oh, the Firecracker is coming in strong, but look at the Nazgul. He can just trample those guys uh, very easily. Uh, but beautiful stuff. This orc pit will definitely go down. Let's see about uh, this one. The hobbits are really, really strong in patch 1.09 version 2. And let's see. Yes, Frodo managed to do it by himself. No eagles needed. Beautiful stuff. Actually, Excellent managed to save his own um, <coughs> uh, Hall of Warriors, the original one, uh, right there. I don't know why he built it uh, that uh, hull expansion, but Akthelion is playing very, very nicely right now. He's uh, putting all of those uh, tunnels around the base of um, Gannicus, and it's going to be very, very easy for him to counter attack right now, especially because those uh, mine shafts are really, really strong. Uh, beautiful stuff right here. Uh, Gannicus managed to delete, I think. Uh, managed to delete this slaughterhouse before Gloin got the level. The Shake Foundation has been used on it. Uh, the industry as well. Uh, so that's the 10th power point for uh, Gannicus. I think Gannicus is actually going for a beautiful Witch King. Uh, but we'll see about that. Uh, for now, actually, Exelion is uh, does have more command points uh, on uh, Gannicus. <coughs> Uh, that's a nice force right here, and I think that's a good battle for uh, the Dwarven player Akthelion to take. Uh, the map currently looks pretty green to me. Uh, that means we are going to have a lot of uh, Mordor units uh, around. Uh, but managed to defend another tunnel right here, um, Akthelion did.
So we are going to have uh, some axe throwers and potentially some men of Dale very soon. Men of Dale are going to be massive against uh, the orc spam from uh, Ganicus can potentially take down this Hall of Warriors right here. Uh, he's not going for it, unfortunately. As you can see, this tunnel is still around. Um, but I do believe that's the last uh, tunnel that uh, Ganicus have in... Um, that uh, Cthelion have in Ganicus' base. So, uh, <coughs> Cthelion need to think how we can counter-attack better uh, right now. So yeah, I think that's going to be a bit of a, a chill time right now. Both of the players are going to rethink about their strategies, um, trying to gather uh, a nice little force, and I think it's going to a mid-game, uh, but we will see about that one. Uh, another crib will go to Ecthelion right now. Nine power points to spare after picking the Hobbits as well as the rallying coal. 10 power points right now. 550 command points. I think the Witch King has been clicked on, if I am not mistaken. That's a good force right here as well for uh, Ganicus. And the good thing about this force. Ooh, slam ability! Boom! Gloin doesn't care, bro. Gloin doesn't care. Very nice uh, slam uh, use. <coughs> from uh, uh, Axelion indeed uh, but the thing is that Axelion is spamming all, the, all of those uh, units uh, they are not as expensive as the Dwarven units so that's a good thing about Mordor you can just spam 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 and you don't really care about your units if you take down uh, two to three tunnels this massive army I think you kinda make the money back as well as some power points uh, the other thing as well. Oh yes, that was a, that what I was talking about. We are going to have the Witch King on the field with a beautiful 1.09 version 2 effect. And uh, the Witch King is going to take some lives right now. I think the knockback is going to be um, in effect on Gloin if I'm not mistaken as well. A Gimli potentially could be good for Ecthelion, but I don't know if he have the money uh, right now. Ecthelion does this uh, this thing again, we, who uh, is going to play with the Undermine uh, right now. And Undermine can be very, very devastating. Um, <clears throat> let's see, actually. Ooh, slam against the Witching. Very brave. Uh, the Undermine ability, of course. Yeah, the knockback is in effect. Uh, the Undermine ability, of course, is uh, going to be a very surprising, uh, can be very surprising, uh, counter-attack, uh, <coughs> and it can lead to a, a very quick defeat. <laughs> oh my god, the Witch King just took down Gloin, he doesn't even care. 600 command points right now for Ganicus, uh, 14 power points, really close to his uh, 15th, um, and yes indeed, Beautiful stuff for him. Excellent already picked his um, undermine ability, the 15 power points, of course. Oh, Witch King could be in trouble. Oh, maybe not. That could be very dangerous right here. The fear effect. No, oh, Witch King get one hit. There you go. Boom. Nice, nice, nice. Ganicus is going to have some time right now. Let's see. Let's look at the power points. Oh, he did pick the hill, but that could be a good shout right there. All this army right here from Ecthelion is going to go down to the Witch King. And of course, the Witch King is going to get the experience that he needs. Uh, <coughs> already got himself the Screech. And uh, the next ability is going to be the Hawa of the Witch King, which is a very strong one as well. Uh, but nice experience right there from the Witch King. Very good play. Uh, the Undermine is pretty much useless. Uh, right here as well because we do have uh, the uh, forces to take it down <coughs> right now another hobbit summon has been thrown down I'm not really sure if that was a good shout right here uh, but of course the hobbits have their uh, have some good timer uh, so have some good time on them uh, we're going to have some mumma kills on the field as well glowing is back and Coming in with his son, Gimli. 
Oh boy, that's going to be a very, very interesting uh, move right there from Excelion. Pretty much the uh, <coughs> command points are uh, even throughout all the game, all this game at least. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know who has the advantage. Of course, the Dwarven uh, faction can come with a very, very devastating counterattack with the Undermine and maybe sneak up your builder and uh, build a uh, forward tunnel. They can be very devastating, of course. Uh, but Mordor are really, really strong in defense as well. With the Witch King on the field, that going to be that's going to be very hard. Uh, we are going to have some Muma kills, of course, as you can see right here. The first Muma kill of the game has come out of the Muma kill pan. Uh, and you can hear the noises uh, that the Muma kill make. Um, another industry has been thrown down on top of this uh, slaughterhouse right here. 750 command points for Gannicus, and that's the uh, lead that he needs uh, to get the advantage in uh, this game. Gloin is actually going in. I think he's going to try and take down this uh, slaughterhouse right here. It's going it's just gone to level 2 and that's a good shout uh, from Ecthelion. Actually, I think he's going to sacrifice his uh, Gloin as well. The Witch King is around, so most definitely Gloin will try to cause some damage or maybe run away. I'm not really sure. Uh, but that was actually a nice play. If he can... Uh, run away as well that could be very good um gimli is still around of course he provides the leadership uh to units around him as well uh the mumma kill um if you're used to other uh versions uh the mumma kill charge attack is an only uh uh you can only get it at level two so of course you can you're going to uh have to work with uh, your Muma kill before it gets uh, the power, the strongest power that he it has. So yeah, another nice little encounter uh, right here. Uh, the Muma kill <coughs> is around, of course. <laughs> Muma kill can just trample pikes, uh, losing a bit of health right there as well. So uh, interesting stuff. Those. Uh, uh, axe throwers will go down. Gimli is going to use his axe throw ability. Gloin need to be careful. But the Muma kill is going to go down. Beautiful stuff. Uh, first Muma kill of the game is going to go down. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, Witch King is putting in the work right now. Uh, trying to take down those uh, tunnels. And uh, gain some more and more experience. I think I just heard... Uh, the darkness being thrown down. Uh, the yes, the first 15 power point of uh, Gannicus is being used right now, and it is the darkness. Uh, Allied hordes gains uh, gain 50% <coughs> damage, 33% armor, and uh, earn experience 50% uh, faster. Monsters gain. Oh, actually, trolls and such can uh, are going to gain 25% damage. 33% armor, and they're going to gain their experience uh, a lot faster. So I think the Mumakil even uh, the Mumakil even gets the buff. Uh, not really sure. If you guys know, in, let me know in the description down below. Uh, but another nice little push from uh, Ganicus, and it does looks like he kind of surround the base of Acthelion right now. And, uh, oh, but we do have the Men of Dale with the Fire Arrows. They can be very, very good against uh, Muma Kill. And usual, in general, uh, you need to know that Fire Arrows, Fire against Mordor in usual is very, very good. So it is kind of a must, must in a late game uh, to play with Fire Arrows if you are facing Mordor. Another Muma Kill is going to go down right now. Uh, Witch King is taking some lives and buildings. Uh, right there as well. Uh, of course, I didn't mention that. Uh, but we're going to have some uh, Haradrim archers on the field, and uh, one of the m one of my favorite units actually in uh, Patch 1.09 is the Haradrim archers. Uh, super super cool units, and uh, they got really buffed in uh, this version of the game. Of course, they cannot take 
hey, hey, don't want me alone. But they are pretty strong. Uh, Men of Dale with fire arrows. That's the uh, transaction uh, transition that <laughs> uh, Ekthenin made right now. He's just spamming those archers. Uh, some pikes are going to be available as well very, very soon uh, for him. Uh, we do have another Muma kill right here um, from Ganicus as well. And uh, those orcs are making the way. A beautiful, massive elephant. So another nice little push is going to take place right now. And all that Ekthelion has is uh, archers and one pike battalion, of course, with a combination of Gloin and a Gimli. We'll see about that. But if Gloin can reach his uh, level 10 ability, that can be very, very good as well. You can just hear that beautiful elephant. I feel like I'm in a zoo right now. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. <clears throat> we have some pigs right here in the shape of Gloin and Gimli. We have an elephant. And indeed. Nice stuff. Uh, Ganicus actually defended... Uh, managed to defend his uh, base pretty well. Akthelion is under a lot of pressure right now, to be honest with you. And I do believe he need to get out of uh, this little situation very quickly. Otherwise, it's going to cost him the game. Uh, playing with hobbits is uh, something uh, not unusual. In patch 1.09, uh, the charge attack has been used. Uh, will the Mumakil actually go for the fortress? They can cause a lot of damage to it. Uh, the fire arrow with the Man of Dale is going to be very good. I don't think a hill will be available. Oh my god, I'm just kidding. A hill is available. The Mumakil is trying to take down the fortress by itself. Oh, causing a lot of damage, but unfortunately, uh, it's been taken down. But we're going to have tons. And tons of those uh, Mumax uh, <coughs> around. Where is the Witch King actually? The Witch King is right here with full health. No need to worry about it uh, for now. A lot of forces. A lot of um, Mordor forces in uh, the left side of the map as well. Hobbits <laughs> being the heroes that they, are, that they are. Trying to take down another slaughterhouse. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure if a rebuild. Yeah, rebuild is available actually. For Ooh, no, yes, and Nazgul just went down right there. 17 power points for uh, um, Achillean and 18 power point uh, power points for uh, Ganicus. That's going to be very interesting. I, I think an earthquake can be very very devastating. Well, the Citadel. I'm not really sure how the uh, PowerPoint tree actually goes for dwarves. I can't, mm, can't really remember. But of course, you can uh, tell for yourself. Oh, actually, <coughs> Akthelion uh, is going for. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, going for the dwarven reaches instead. Uh, screech from the uh, Witch King has been used right here. Uh, I think Ekthelion used his Gimli right there to try and take down uh, the Witch King, but the Witch King can take can take his uh, Fell Beast and uh, just fly off. Uh, Ekthelion did pick his uh, um, another not sure if it's a 15 or 10th power point, but did pick uh, another power point right there. Uh, so that's going to slow him that is going to slow him down a bit. Um... Uh, and meanwhile, you can just see for yourself, Ganicus is getting closer and closer to his uh, 25th uh, power point. Gimli is right here in the middle of this army. Oh, a charge attack. A failed uh, charge attack has been used. And another Hobbit summon right here. Gimli managed to just uh, run away. Uh, we're going to have the 25 point power for uh, Ganicus. It, it is already available. And uh, there you go, uh, we have the Balrog uh, right there. The fortress of uh, Akhtanian is being rebuilt right now. And look at all those Mumakils. Oh my god. 
very very nice stuff uh, we have a catapult as well the mixed army of mordor is going to rule this little battle right here <laughs> oh my god you can just hear the haradrim uh horns going off right now but that can be a very very devastating attack and i don't think a actually have uh the archers that he need uh to <coughs> face all those uh Muma kills mumax i don't know how you call them uh no, he should have won it. Should have gone for it, but I think both of those Muma kills are going to go down, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be very hard to um, save this one. Level 4, that's unfortunate, but the charge attack is going to be used. Nice stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Will it go down? Yes, it is going to go down. King Dane is on the field as well. Uh, I just heard him. There he is. Uh, Gimli's around indeed as well. I don't see a Gloin right now. Uh, Gloin would be very helpful right now. <laughs> Actually, that knocks... Uh, the catapult knocks back uh, the Nazgul. Interesting. Friendly fire. But yeah. We have a lot of forces right now. Uh, I don't know if uh, Ganicus, yeah, gave up. He didn't give up on uh, the Muma kill strategy. Uh, for now, we're going to have uh, Gloin and three of those uh, Dwarven heroes are around as well. The catapult is trying to take down uh, <coughs> uh, the Dwarven fortress right now. It's doing a nice job actually, doing some decent damage, um, and yeah. Uh, the Witch King is taking uh, the fire damage from uh, the Man of Dale. And uh, a push. Oh, no. I don't believe it. We're going to pull it off. Gimli, with the uh, Slayer ability, with all of those guys, can actually take down the fortress. But I don't know if it's going to be worth it. We're going to have another Muma kill around. The Rallying Call has been thrown down. Pushes from both sides uh, are going... Right now, oh, Gloin is going to use something, I believe. But let's see what he's going to be. <coughs> oh, he's actually going for the... No, he's going to die. Going to die? Let's see. Uh, he's actually running away. No, just use the Shake Foundation at level 8. Gloin, beautiful stuff from Ecthelion. But... <clears throat> I think he just gave up on his base right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's pulling all of his units back. Uh, building some stuff, but the builder is going to go down, so that's unfortunate uh, from Ecthelion. Yeah, he's going to push back uh, the mortal forces right here. Uh, didn't went for the uh, fortress right there. Fuck off. What is it? Oh, that's the Balrog. I thought that was the <laughs> the Grant. <laughs> that's why. Uh, so Gimli is trying to take down right now. Oh, trying to take down some units. A hill has been thrown down very nicely. Very good timing. And the horns of the Haradrim <laughs> are here. Oh, the Balrog is going to take a nice shot. Never mind. Just kidding. Uh, Balrog need to go right here and take down some uh, some of those uh, tanky buildings. Maybe go for uh, the Gimli as well. Why not? Maybe the Witch King is going to take care of them. Of him, I don't really know. King Dane. Oh, another nice fire whip right here. King Dane just uses uh, his uh, mighty rage right there. But uh, I think... I think I saw a, a battering ram as well, but he, it went down. Uh, so yeah, I think Ecthelion right now is in a large, large uh, trouble, of which he need to be careful. Uh, level eight, but he can go down uh, really quickly uh, to those uh, fire arrows, of course. Maybe a fire bread. Not the most effective uh, Balrog, I'm not going to lie. Uh, this Balrog just faded away right there as well. Oh, that was the earthquake, I think. Unfortunately, we lost that one. Oh, we are going to have the rain of fire as well for Ganicus. And let's see how he's, uh, how he's going to use it. 
Uh, of course, uh, the Rain of Fire can be very, very devastating. Uh, he's going for... Gunnikus is going for some more uh, catapults. I thought... Uh, earlier this game, I thought that the Grunt, uh, grunt has been used. Uh, but that was just the Balrog effect. So yeah, Axelian base actually looks pretty good uh, for now. Trying to gain some... Uh, map control back, trying to fight off the for the middle, uh, but he doesn't know that actually Gannicus have himself the rain of fire right here as well. Uh, earthquake indeed has been used. Oh, sorry about that. That was disgusting. A bit of an ASMR in the middle of the video. Why not? There you go. Axel's ASMR. Please leave a like for that one. Uh, so yeah, tons of Mumma Kills, only one, one Mumma Kill, but at level 5, so that's, that is a good one. Uh, we're going to have another Hobbit Summon right here, uh, and don't forget that, uh, Gannicus does have himself, uh, uh, the Ring of Fire available. A uh, second Mumma Kill is right here. <laughs> Just took down, I think, uh... Merry or Pippin. Oh no! King Dane went down right there as well. But the Mumma kills are right. Here. The Mumma kills are right here as well. The rain of fire has been thrown down. No defense whatsoever around this base. Those pikes are trying to chase down the Mumax, but they are really, really strong. You can see the tattoos on them. They looks pretty. They look pretty dope. Uh, but there you go. I think this fortress is as good as gone. Uh, which can you? Uh, the Fell Beast is right here. Uh, we do actually have a Fell Beast. Actually, a rebuild has been thrown down. A hill has been thrown down as well. Look at that. The barrage has been thrown down as well. Gimli is right here trying to save the Dwarven Fortress. But I think, unfortunately for Gimli, he wouldn't be able to do it. Yes, uh, there you go. The Fortress just went down. And Gannicus with the game of his life. Look at that uh, invasion from uh, the model side right there a charge attack has been used level 6 Mumma kill another one just went down right there as you can see for yourself very very nice stuff uh, Gannicus's base is actually pretty empty but I don't think it matters anymore uh, Gloin is being chased off by uh, the Witch King and uh, I think Gloin is going to go down uh, very quickly very soon uh, we do have two more catapults right here. Glo Gloin can't get off his ass uh, right now. He's being knocked back. And there you go. Just went down right there. The catapults are going to finish the game. Question mark. Oh, very, very nice. I think Ecthelion just gave up uh, right there. But that was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful game. And there you go. Ecthelion is calling it a GG. A very, very nice game. Indeed. And if you guys enjoyed this one and more, I uh, want more videos on this channel. Make sure you guys are leaving a like on the video right now as well as subscribing to our channel. As I mentioned earlier, we are on the chase to 1,000 subscribers, and you guys can help us very, very easily. So, yes, indeed, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been your boy Axel. Stay safe, stay young, and peace.